In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a very simple podcast using Audacity. And this is particularly using Audacity 2.0, the newest version that just came out in March. So if you don't know which version you have, come up here to Help and click on About Audacity. And that'll show you right here which version you're using. If you don't have 2.0, go ahead and go to the Audacity website and download this newest version. All right, so we're gonna start by recording the basic audio uh, narration that we want in our podcast. You should already have a script that you're working from so that you know what you're going to be saying. Now this is tricky, very difficult part of this. We're gonna come up here to the big red record button. Now if any of you had a tape player in the 80s, you know what that button is for. All right, so we're gonna be recording with that red button when we're done recording, we'll simply push the yellow stop square over here. All right, so here we go. We'll click that red button and begin recording. Notice I waited just a second. I like to give myself a second uh, before the microphone kicks in so I don't cut anything off. Same thing at the end. So you can see here that it recorded my voice. I've got the fluctuations in the wavelengths. I've got some space here at the beginning and some space here at the end in case I want to uh, edit, cut some things off. I just really wanted to make sure that my voice didn't get cut off by the microphone. All right, so I've got that now. And uh, notice that there are two identical tracks here. So Audacity defaults to recording in stereo rather than mono. You can change that if you want to. Uh, over here on the right, you'll notice there's a little button that says two stereo input. You can change that to a one mono input. I don't mind just defaulting to stereo recording, um, but you'll notice that they are identical. It's not doing anything really fancy. And I'll show you at the end how to reduce this down to mono to decrease your file size for later. All right, so I've got my narration recorded. I also want to include some intro and outro music on my podcast here. So I'm just going to go ahead and import a little uh, piece of music that I found earlier. So I'm going to go to File, and then Import, and Audio. That'll open up my Internet, or my Windows Explorer. And I just scroll down and find the piece of music that I had earlier. Now take it easy on your intro and outro. This thing is 15 seconds long, and if I'm doing a one minute podcast, and I've got 15 seconds of intro and 15 seconds of outro, outro uh, that's half of my podcast, and it's kind of ridiculous and way too long. So you really just want a few seconds to kind of bring everything in. So I'm gonna take this intro music here, um, and I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. So I, um, could if I wanted to solo this. When I click that solo button, it means that I'm just gonna listen to this piece of music here. And then I can play through and kind of see Okay, so I can see that my music loops. Here's the very intro here, and then right here is where it loops back to the beginning, and then we see that wavelength again right there. It's gonna loop again. I like this last piece here because it fades out, makes it easier for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And to do that, I just drag across it like that. And I'm gonna say edit and copy. So I'm gonna copy that little bit. All right, then I'm gonna take off my solo here, come back up to my uh, track where I recorded my narration, and I'm gonna edit and paste that music. And then I'm going to come down to the very end and I'm going to do that again. Edit and paste. Now if I double click on either end of that, it turns it all into one track, just like that. And if I come back to the very beginning of my music, scrolling back, I can play it through. Ah, notice. I didn't turn this off, did I? So I can either solo this piece, or actually I'm done with that, so I'm gonna exit out. All right, when we come back, I'll show you how to uh, finish your edits and save this as a WAV file. 